Hello friends of Logo. I would like to show you the options offered by the web server integrated in Logo 8 with respect to operation and changing parameters. I have already prepared a simple example as an illustration. You see here a collection of input fields, arrow buttons, function buttons, along with a software switch. The software switch has been somewhat neglected so far, but now with the web server it has new possibilities and can be very nicely used as an operating solution for activating digital signals. Everything culminates in an OR gate, followed by a pulse relay and finally two outputs, whereby the first output is directly controlled and the second output is very easily delayed via an off delay. And the value of the off delay, the running time, can be changed via a message text. Now we will take a closer look at the message text. I have configured the following in the message text. Here you see the outputs 1 and 2, each assigned a status text, so that the state is displayed in the message text. The third line contains the elapsed time of the off delay. The parameter off delay is inserted into the fourth line, to be able to change the time in the message text. And the last line contains the software switch, which we can now use very easily for operation via the web server. What is now necessary in order to also display this text message on the web server? If we take a closer look at this window, we can see where the message texts are supposed to be displayed. Both is selected here, which reflects past settings. A new feature is a checkbox to activate this signal for the web server. Select the checkbox next to web server. Click OK to confirm. Now, what we have to do is activate the web server as it is deactivated by default for security reasons. To do so in Logo, Soft Comfort, we navigate to Tools, then Transfer and to Access Control. Now we will establish a connection to Logo and switch Logo to Stop. In the dialog that appears, you will find the activation range of the web server. Activate the web server and create a password you will be able to remember later. Click Accept to confirm the password and the activation of the web server. Now we can launch Internet Explorer directly and take a look at the result in a web browser. We will now establish a connection to Logo by entering the IP address of Logo in the URL field. In my case, the IP address is 192.168.0.1 and this takes us right to the login page of the Logo web server. Now type in the previously configured password and click Log on. We see here the same message text that logo would display, in this case the logo basic device. Here you can switch between the logo basic device and TDE. Now we come to operation via the web server. We have configured the following. Up, arrow button, F1 function button, and the software switch. In order to use the arrow buttons used in the program via the web server, the keypad must be activated. The procedure is similar to that for the basic device. On the basic device, you have to hold down the escape key and press the relevant arrow key. This is similar on the web server. When you click escape, the key panel is completely active. Now you can use the arrow buttons for operation. The signal now indicates that the Q1 output is switched on. After repeated activation Q1 is immediately switched off, while Q2 is switched off after a delay.
These arrow keys can also be deactivated by pressing the escape key again. Now we come to changing the parameters. We see the time for the delay of the second output is set to 6 seconds. Changes can be implemented on the web server by double-clicking the time. Here, for example, you can set the new time to 8 seconds and click OK to confirm. This adjusted the parameter. Now we will look at the software switch. The software switch in the program has the same function as the F1 key and the up arrow key. Double click the software switch and change the status from off to on. Click OK to accept the change and, according to the program, the same thing happens as with the other keys. As you can see, Operation via the web server with logo is exactly like changing the parameters directly on the device. The configuration of the web server is as easy as pie. Anyone who can handle the message text can also master the web server. And don't forget, logo, simply ingenious, simply more.